children, before starting the session, look at the pictures and fill in the blanks using the words given in the box. The DASH system helps us to do a number of things including thinking, smelling, tasting, and seeing. The DASH system gives shape to our body. Skeletal system The DASH system helps in inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. Respiratory The DASH system breaks down the food we eat into simpler substances. Dig the organs of an organ system work together to perform a particular function for the body. In this session, we will study the skeletal system and the nervous system in detail. Skeletal system and nervous system Class 5 Science Skeletal system The skeletal system is a framework of bones, also called skeleton, that gives support to our body. There are 206 bones in an adult human skeleton. Look at the different parts of the human skeleton. Let us study each of them. Skull the skull protects the brain. The skull of an adult human being generally contains 22 bones. All bones in the skull are fixed, except the lower jaw. The movable lower jaw enables us to talk and eat. The upper and lower jaw has teeth. Rib cage. Ribs are thin and curved bones that form a cage in the chest, called the rib cage. The rib cage protects our heart and lungs. Most people have 12 pairs of ribs. A long bone at the center of the chest, called sternum, holds the ribs from the front. The ribs are also attached to the backbone at the back. However, the last two pairs of ribs are not attached to the sternum, and so are called floating ribs. You can feel your ribs by running your finger across the chest. Backbone The backbone protects the spinal cord. It is made up of 33 small bones called vertebrae. The backbone is also called the vertebral column. You can feel your backbone by running your hand along the central portion of your back. Fact The floating ribs do not float around inside our body. They are attached to our backbone. Sometimes people can be born with an extra rib. Limbs We have two pairs of limbs. The upper limbs, or arms, and the lower limbs, or legs. Let's learn about them. Upper limbs The upper limbs have two parts. The upper arm and the lower arm. The upper arm is made of a single bone, called the humerus. It is joined at the elbow to a pair of bones that form the lower arm. A number of smaller bones form the hand, which is attached to the lower arm. Lower limbs. The lower limbs also have two parts. The upper leg and the lower leg. The upper leg is made of a single bone called the femur, or the thigh bone, which is the longest bone in the human body. The lower leg is made up of two bones that join the femur at the knee. The feet are made up of a number of smaller bones. Girdles Girdles are ring-like bony structures connecting the skull and vertebral column to the upper and the lower limbs. There are two girdles present in a human skeleton. The shoulder girdle and the hip girdle. The shoulder girdle connects the upper limbs to the body. It is made up of the collar bone and the shoulder blade. The hip girdle connects the lower limb to the body. 
functions of the skeletal system. The skeleton gives shape and support to our body. Without a skeleton, our body would be floppy like a jelly. Forget about walking, we would not even be able to stand. Different parts of the skeleton protect soft internal organs. The skull protects the brain. The rib cage protects the heart and the lungs. The backbone protects the delicate spinal cord. The skeletal system allows the movement of different body parts. Many bones in our body are hollow. They are filled with a jelly-like substance called the bone marrow. Blood cells are produced in the bone marrow. Joints A joint is a place where two or more bones meet. Bones are held together at the joint by special tissues called ligaments. A tough, elastic tissue called cartilage is also present on the surface of bones, at the joints. Most joints are movable. There are four types of movable joints in our body. Borderland socket joint This type of joint allows movement in many directions. In this type of joint, the ball-shaped end of one bone fits into the cup-shaped end of another bone. The shoulder joint and hip joint are examples of ball and socket joints. Hinge joint This type of joint only allows back and forth movement. It works like the hinges of a door. Bones in the knee, elbow, fingers, and toes have this type of a joint. Pivot joint this type of joint allows you to move your head up, down, and sideways. It is found between the head and the first vertebra of your backbone. Gliding joint This type of joint allows the bones to slide against each other in gliding motion. It is found between the bones of wrist and ankle. In addition to bones, cartilage and muscles also help us in movement. Cartilage Cartilage holds the bones together at the joints. It also protects the bones. Without cartilage, the bones would rub against each other and wear out. Some organs, such as the nose and ears, have cartilage too. Muscles Muscles are tissues that cover the bones. They are attached to the bones with the help of special tissue called, tendons. Both muscles and bones work together to make movement possible. They also help in important processes such as digestion. There are three types of muscles in our body. Skeletal muscles Skeletal muscles help in movement. Muscles in the arms are examples of skeletal muscles. These are the only type of muscle we can control directly. That is, if we want to move our arm, we can control when and how we do it. Cardiac muscles Muscles in the heart are examples of cardiac muscles. We do not have any control over this type of muscles. They work automatically. Smooth muscles Muscles in the digestive system are examples of smooth muscles. We do not have any control over this type of muscle either. Nervous system The nervous system controls the different organs in our body. The brain, the spinal cord, and the nerves form the different parts of our nervous system. Brain The brain is a very important organ. It controls our body movements and helps us to store information in our memory. The human brain has three parts. Cerebrum Cerebellum And medulla
cerebrum. It is the largest part of the human brain and is responsible for learning, memory, intelligence, and logic. It also controls the functioning of the sense organ. Cerebellum It is situated below the cerebrum and is responsible for muscle coordination and maintaining the balance of our body. Medulla It is also called the brain stem. It controls activities such as heartbeat, breathing, swallowing, and sneezing. Spinal cord The spinal cord is a thick cord of nerve tissue that extends down from the brain stem. It is surrounded and protected by the backbone. The spinal cord is responsible for the transfer of information between the brain and the rest of the body. It even controls the actions that do not involve the brain. Such actions are called reflex actions. Nerves A network of nerves run throughout our body, carrying messages to and from the brain, spinal cord, and other parts of the body. There are mainly three types of nerves. Sensory nerves carry messages from different parts of the body to the brain or spinal cord. Motor nerves carry messages from the brain or spinal cord to the different parts of the body. Mixed nerves carry messages both ways, from the brain or spinal cord to the different body parts and vice versa. Reflex actions What is your instant reaction if you touch a hot object accidentally? You immediately withdraw your hand. Thus, touching the hot object such as fire acted as a stimulus, and withdrawing your hand was the response. The automatic response of the body to a particular stimulus is called a reflex action. Most reflex actions take place due to messages sent by the spinal cord, the brain is not involved. These actions are very fast. Does the sight of food make your mouth water? Here, the sight of food is the stimulus, and the production of saliva in your mouth is the response. Sense Organs Our body has five sense organs. Eyes Ears Nose Skin and Tongue Eyes Eyes help us to see the world around us. A pair of eyes is present within the eye sockets of the skull. The flap-like eyelids cover the eyes, and lashes present on the eyes protect it from dirt. Look at the different parts of the eye above. Ears Ears help us to hear. A pair of ears are present, one on each side of the head. Each ear is divided into three parts. Outer ear middle ear and inner ear nose the nose helps us to detect different odors it also helps in breathing nose contains two nostrils that are lined with hair and mucus to trap dirt from the air the nostrils lead to a nasal cavity that is lined with cells sensitive to smell these cells detect smells and send messages to the brain through nerves. Tongue The tongue helps us to sense different tastes such as sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. It has numerous taste buds located all over its surface, that detect different tastes and pass on nerve signals to the brain via nerves. Skin the skin helps us to feel, touch, and sense heat, cold, pressure, and pain. It forms a continuous layer around our entire body. Under the surface of the skin, there are many nerves that detect touch, 
and send nerve impulses to the brain. Let us revise. The skeletal system is a framework of bones that gives support to our body. The skull, the rib cage, the backbone, and the limbs are the different parts of the human skeletal system. There are four kinds of joints in our body, borderland socket joint, hinge joint, pivot joint, and gliding joint. The nervous system controls the different organs of our body. The brain, the spinal cord, and the nerves form the nervous system. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.